More examples. Uh, the agent and her sidekick ran up the hill, and then they leaped over the wall before the agent shot at the truck, which exploded, thus killing all the evil ninjas. There's a lot of punctuation there. Got the before, which a lot of people would argue is conjunction punctuation. You got parentheses, you got the same comma conjunction. And also, if you're reading that and you want to get through a report quickly, well, good luck. You're going to have to think about that sentence a little bit. Nothing else to try to figure out what's the important thing going on there. So my advice, don't do that, especially for instant reports. Instead, do this. The agent and their sidekick ran up the hill. They leaped over the wall. The agent shot at the truck. The truck exploded. All the evil ninjas, all the evil ninjas died. And it might seem a bit bass backwards for me to be pushing this idea that, like, what, one, two, three, four, six sentences is better than one, more efficient. But here's my response. First of all, look at the overall length. Second, most people will be able to read the same information presented in only simple sentences faster and retain it better than all that information lumped in one sentence. If you're going for speed, if you're going for comprehension and memorability, if you're going for preventing grammar mistakes. And also when you're editing, Simple sentences make it easier to spot filler info that you don't really need. Like, again, the agent and their sidekick ran up the hill, and then they leaped over the wall, and the agent shot at the truck, which exploded, thus killing all the evil ninjas. Maybe there's stuff in that sentence you don't need. But when you're dealing with a whole big, long, complex sentence like that, it can be hard to spot that filler. Instead, break it down. The agent and their sidekick ran up the hill. They leaped over the wall. The agent shot at the well, which of these sentences are not really necessary? If they're their own sentences, it could be a lot easier to see, well, let's get rid of this, let's get rid of that, and result in the agent shot in the truck, the truck exploded, all the evil ninjas died. Or maybe all we need is the agent killed all the evil ninjas. There you go. So maybe this could be condensed down to this for your audience and your purpose. If you're looking at this, it'll make it a lot easier to figure that out for most people. Okay. So for that reason, too, Simple sentences have a lot going for them. And then just a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of inoculation. Um, remember at the beginning of this meeting when I um, presented that uh, example of here's an email incident report with only simple sentences, and you especially, you were like, because you were probably imagining, God, if I was writing that, right? Yeah, it would make you feel hinky. <coughs> it would make you feel like hinky. It's weird, uncomfortable. Because you'd be, in your mind, you'd be like, wait a minute, this is fourth grade grammar, this is a college classroom, what the hell am I doing, right? But here's the thing. Um, and the, the sort of deeper thing that makes you feel hinky about that is, your brain is thinking, these sentences are too simple, they will make me sound stupid. Right? Or these sentences are too simple, they will make it sound like I can only communicate simple things. That's not the case. It's not the case at all. Hemingway. Anybody ever read uh, The Old Man and the Sea for like high school, college, Old Man and the Sea? Anybody else? How thick was it? Not at all. Not at all? How long did it take you to read? Less than a day. It was only 80 pages. Did you like it? Yeah. And it was being taught as like, here's great literature because you won a Nobel Prize, right? The Old Man at the Sea was like one of the feature, like, wow, that's uh, Has anybody ever read uh, any um, Faulkner high school or college class? James Joyce? James Faulkner or Joyce? Joyce? Both? Oh, both. Oh, God. Was it uh, for whom the, or, or the sound and the fury for Faulkner? Which one was it? I can't remember where Faulkner actually did something. Did you get through it in the afternoon? What about James Joyce? It was a textbook. 
Oh, really? Textbook. What about Dickens? Anybody ever read any Dickens? Okay, Dickens. Okay, Dickens. Okay. Did you get through it in an afternoon? Did you like it? <laughs> did you have to reread sentences to try to? And one thing is like, I mean, Hemingway did have the advantage of being in the 20th century versus the 18th or 19th or whatever. But I mean, Faulkner wrote the same way, even worse, when he was doing experimental stuff like *The Sound of the Fury*. Faulkner also got a Nobel Prize, but they both got Nobel Prizes. One of the things about Hemingway's style, why it was such a breeze to read, simple sentences, man. It's like 80% of what Hemingway wrote. It's, Hemingway started out as a newspaper reporter. Faulkner didn't, as far as I know. But anyway, the point is, you can do really sophisticated stuff with the simple grammar. What you can't do is generally make stuff really super clear and easy to skim with complex grammar. 